In this video, I'm going to talk about time variant controllers focusing on LFOs, low frequency oscillators. Low frequency oscillators generate periodic control signals, unlike our envelope generators, which generate non periodic control signals. Since this control signal is periodic, it's going to have a pattern that constantly repeats over time. So LFOs are very useful for creating effects such as vibrato, tremolo, and auto wah. The low in low frequency oscillators refers to the fact that these are often sub audio. So this is very important that although this is an oscillator, we're not using it to generate an audio signal, we're using it to generate a control signal. We're setting it up to affect parameters rather than to listen to it. Since an LFO is a kind of oscillator, we're going to specify the same parameters that we would for an oscillator in the audio range. We're going to specify its frequency, its amplitude, and its waveform. When we talk about LFOs, often we call the frequency the rate and the amplitude the depth in order to distinguish these controls from an oscillator in the audible range. So, with this periodic control signal, we need to consider what we're going to apply it to. If we take the LFO control signal and we modulate an oscillator's frequency or pitch, we can create vibrato. If we take this LFO and we modify an amplifier or an amplitude control, we create tremolo. If we take this LFO and we modify a filter's cutoff frequency, modulating the timbre, we can create a wah wah or auto wah effect. A final thought about envelope generators and LFOs. Usually, an envelope generator will generate a control signal that goes from 0 to 1, where an LFO will generate a control signal that goes from negative 1 to 1. And so we need to be careful that we do the correct math when we apply each of these time variant controllers. Different systems will handle this in different ways, but oftentimes you're going to be multiplying and then adding, taking the control signal that comes out of your time variant controllers and multiplying it to change the range, and then adding it to change its offset. 